Hello everybody, my name is Professor Simona and it's Larry from Mary Science Lab. Today, we have just earned 200,000 subscribers. Now, in 2014, we had no subscribers. Our channel was just created then. But then, all the way into April 2021, we had 33,000 subscribers. But then, suddenly, something hit. And on May 25th, we earned 100,000 subscribers. And now, 200,000 really means a lot to us. In, in just 16 days, it's really fast. And I'm really amazed at the support you guys have given us. Anyway, uh, when I asked my dad why Biory Science Lab was created when I was four or five, then my dad said it was created to show the world that even a two-year-old child can do anything. And now that that two-year-old child doesn't exist anymore, I'm actually seven years older. But my philosophy still remains. Age doesn't matter. Now, there are two schools of thought, two main schools of thought anyway. The first school of thought is the Piaget school of thought. The second is the Vygotsky school of thought. I'm not saying that thinking like Piaget is bad, but it's the wrong mindset. You shouldn't have that kind of mindset because it prevents you from thinking that, hey, maybe my child can do something amazing it too. And well, any child can do something amazing it too. Uh, any poor rich, any person from anywhere, if they're just taught the right way, they can do anything even if they don't have much time uh, if you teach somebody the right way that will leave a mark on their gpd for generations and that brings us to the vygotsky school of thought the vygotsky school of thought doesn't see stages of learning where you progress after you reach a certain age is that doesn't work sometimes on the lower bound because younger children are able to learn more than Piaget predicts them to. And that sometimes doesn't work on the upper bound because older children don't learn as much as Piaget expects them to. Because, well, they weren't taught the right way. Now, the thing is, Vygotsky's school of thought says that, hey, if you're not taught the right way, even if you're three or you're 50, then you won't be able to do anything. You need to be taught in a way just right so it expands your zone of proximal development, which is basically how much you know and can do by yourself, which is actually surprisingly small for some people and surprisingly big for others. But there's only one goal you have with that, expand. And there's only one goal to just expand your knowledge. Uh, about any subject, any passion, really anything. You just want to uh, expand your zone of proximal development like a balloon. So, here at Barry Science Lab, we help uh, with children who don't, well, have the parents who have the teaching skills to uh, teach their children in a way that expands their ZPD. Our school system is an example of uh, ways that don't increase our GPD. So if parents don't have teaching skills to expand the child's zone of proximal development, then who will teach the child? That's what we at Barry Science Lab have been asking for years, and now that is our mission, to teach all children who don't have the right teacher. Here at Barry Science Lab, we will expand your GPD if others can't. We can expand your ZPD by using hands-on learning in a way that will inspire you. And we also use demonstrations in slow-mo and uh, really any, just to show you every aspect of every physics equation and every math equation that you can think of. So you finally understand it in a way that's better than most. That's what Barry Science Lab is here for. Expanding your ZPD giving you knowledge. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you when we hit 300,000.